Oh, here we have game on. Saw Gina Kennedy absolutely sweep past Sarah Jane Perry in the All English Affair to kick us off on the glass. Joey, regardless of how this goes, I think it's going to be a long affair. Yeah. Both players are very capable of covering the court well. Too well. Yeah, this could be, this could go very, very uh, much into the fifth game scenario. Very important for El Hamami, Nicole, to get this first under a belt, just try and settle herself because although she got past Ramadan, she wasn't completely convinced. Three, by a performance, you kind of saw that in the interview with Michael, really. So getting that short game going and starting as she is, this is perfect for the confidence of the Leopard. take Supermanium a few rallies or even the first game to get used to this court. She played her first match, first two matches, I think, on the back courts, which is very different from this one here. Yeah, they were um, unique in their own right. Certainly very loud. Hollow front walls. I think Wild Hindi would actually be justified in wearing his headphones. Yeah, on those no, back courts. no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so slick. I remember um, the first time I commentated on Sir Romanian was at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games, and uh, she was so impressive there. Yeah, she's got a lovely hold, especially on the backhand on the volley. Just. Really know. You'll forward and then she sends you back and it's so fluid, you don't really know what's coming. Touche. Yep. Hanya and El Hamami just doing the one. same thing on the right side. This could do El Hamami some, some real good. Real good? It's uh, very articulate from, from me. <laughs> it's my, my, my American creeping in, but even though you're Canadian. Could do some good. You have to do a little better than that, Joey. <laughs> We've got the thesaurus out. Oh. Just to put her on a metal against someone as kind of attacking as Subramanium. There's a lot of variety yeah. going on. You can see there, just not quite finding a range. And Six, one. Quite a golf opening up in this first game, Nicole. Yeah, I might just take a few points to settle the nerves. I think, I think regardless, if she, if she loses this game, I think we'll see a better response from her in the second game. Hopefully she can get herself into it now, though, and at least put, start to put a little bit more pressure on Hamami, because right now, with 6-1 six, six down, Hamami's just going to grow in confidence from here. Up. Review. Review. Place review, Miss Hamami on an auto position. What, what is the double for? So the call from Tahir Kanzada, backhand front corner. She got it, certainly got it on the first bounce, but was it a carry? 
Oof. Mm -hmm. Goodness me, that's coming quick. So the, we're still looking at it. That was just a little bit of it. This ball was absolutely glued to the sidewall. Yeah. Did well to get it cross court if it was clean. I think she got it, you know, because the, the vibration of the racket happened after. So like that kind of shimmer of the racket happened after and it's class is not good, so what do I know? Not good decision. Upheld Hamami has one review remaining. And now two six. Yeah, it's quite tough. Sometimes real time makes it even clearer, but the VR electing that it was uh, a double hit. And that's more like it from her. The real yeah. skip in the step. She's absolutely fuming. the third round down in the women's competition it's a staggered and day down. three seven starting off day before the men's and also the women's final is on the night of the men's semi-finals do you know why they've elected to do that joey Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I've never experienced that before, Nicole. It's pretty unique. Standalone men's final. Four, seven. looking to step up and she's able to actually get Mami behind her. Mami, to her credit before, was, I don't feel like she's hit her targets really yet, but she's still looking to push push forward. I think she was able to create a lot more space for Supermanium on the court, but now they seem to be playing that cat and mouse game with, oof, finishing with a lovely, perfect, what a perfect shot. lob. It's gorgeous. Five, seven. What a lob. And that goes to show how dead it can be in the back of the court over the top of El Hamami. This was a testing last rally physically. That was cool. Love it. There we go. There's that backhand deception we were talking about. Six, seven. Yeah, she's arrived. She's on fuego. She really is out in the boot. Seven. Four. This has changed the balance. You said it would take her a couple of rallies, and it has. And she's now locked in at seven all. Really accustomed to the conditions. See how comfortable she is on that backhand side. She's got so much variety. She really looks to set up the play from there, as so many players do. Got no fear taking the ball in on the backhand side. This is this is honestly. I mean, Mass has never seven. been my strongest strongest subject, also or English, but uh, I'm working on both continually. Reading the Mister Men. Seven points in a row to my calculations. Yeah, I believe she was down. 6-1. Now. Not far away there. Oh. And, uh, Served her so well. I think she's going to keep going for eight, it, though. Oh. She keeps producing those opportunities. She's bound to make more than she misses. Yeah, that was much needed for El Hamami. Break that roll of points. She served an ace as well. 9-8. 
This will be a real tough one if it does disappear from the first game. The only saving grace is that she's started to find some decent form in this match, Subramanian. She's got to be careful, though. Oh, she's completely and utterly done on that one. Were you off as well? Were we oh, and that, going for the cross court? Oh. Absolutely no idea. I do remember playing Supermanium a couple of years ago, I think in Manchester, and I just had no idea where the ball was going on the left on the left side. If I gave her any time on the volley, it was volley boast, volley nick, volley drive. I mean, those are just a few options off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm sure she's got loads more in her. Yeah, I see that. T position's getting higher again. Locked in. Look at that, she's fully facing the left side. She's just, she's just reading the game so well. Hunting that backhand volley. And out, nine, gimbal. Yeah, that was beyond crucial for El Hamami. Fascinating first game. Miss Hamami, no hand wiping with the glass, thank you. Yeah, pretty much a game of two Ten halves here. Gimbal. Mommy's done well to get herself in front, but it's just because of that massive lead that she took advantage of at the beginning while Supermanian was still trying to figure out the court. Out. Well, that's a squeeze. Again, backhand. And out. Deep and in the corner. Couldn't ask for a better points. scenario. Tie break time. <laughs> Joey now seems like as good a time as ever to ask you for a prediction. <laughs> I think Subramanian is going to win this first game. 11-10, game ball. And the second game? I need, to, I, need to, yeah, I, need to, I need to literally get up to game ball of the second to say that. I'm usually right out there on the predictions, though. I mean, you usually get them wrong, but I'm quite happy to say it. I don't know what's going on with me today. I don't know if it's the air conditioning. It's slightly frozen apart my brain. Yes, lad. 11-10. Game ball. That 11 all. Well, the first first game prediction in in the balance here. Pounced upon that one, the leopard. The 12, width, 11, not quite one. there. Deep in the back corner, trying to switch the play. Wrong shot selection. What do you think? Who do you who are you kind of veering towards in terms of the result here? It's tough, isn't it? It's a it's a hard one. I'll go three two Hamami. Five game thriller. Out. Oh, by a whisker, and that is. So important for El Hamami after Hamami. leading 7 1. Hamami leads one game so low. Eight points in a row, seven points in a row for Subramanian, and it's closeout time in the tie break.
13-11, some cracking squash between these two. El Hamami leading one game to love here in Doha.